Mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. They have a lot of firepower here. They really are one big, rich family. All right, where are you today? Let's go inside. Oh, they opened the door for me. Thank you so much for that. Ah, please come in, sir. Oh, look at this mansion. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other oh, liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think... Well, he's not quite that dumb. Thank you so much. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. All right, what exactly are we doing now? We'll see. I don't like when Sean is nearby. Come on, I'll fill you in on the way. No, because I'm it's driving. Good. I have a big shot for sure. Ready? Oh, cool. Let's get out of here. Of course, Helga Hell. Where is that exactly? Oh, it's the. Ray's family ranch, I think. Alright, let's go there. Yeah, maybe we will hide. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Alright. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do it all. Okay, them now. Let's hope. Hold it right there. They will not find me. Yet. There's only one of them. The what do you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. What? At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, <laughs> I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, Oh, whoa, whoa, what's he doing? And before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank okay, you, friend. Thank you so uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I think we're going to go down when this is all over. It's just over right. here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, I think. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can 
can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It, it's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Right. The place you yeah. boys have got here. The <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. <coughs> well, that's a shame. <sighs> we can hold up in here till it gets dark. Let's get you inside. And wait for the night. Time to come for some real Quiet. action now. There's someone coming on the left. Right, right, right. We will hide here. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there is a lot of guards here and lots of fields. Drop it by the Burn. supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Thank you so much. Take him down. You dealt the field. Oh, there's lots of fields we'll, here. We'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Alright, this is the place. That's good. Alright, that's enough for this one. Going to take him down. Let's hope so. We can just take well, down as well. What now? Oh, we are firing all of this tonight. Well, this will be a lot of damage. Think she'll go, Arthur. Light her up. What a damn ball you got. Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's board those bloody deals to the ground.
Get the hell out of here, fast! You right, follow me! Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are writing that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Let's sure. go back to camp. Let's see what should we do next. Oh boy, that was some crazy mission. Intense mission. See what's the all Dutch wants from us. Arthur, Arthur. Yeah. What do you need? Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Come on, Charles. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. And here is our eventful horse. Coming. It's all right, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. <laughs> all right, follow me. 
Let's find our friend Trelawney. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. So, hey, wait up. So Why are you riding off on me? Charles? Back to what you were saying. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Oh, I can't believe they're still things. coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. This looks interesting. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella, sort of formal. Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here. Yeah. Uh, Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Oh. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Okay. Come on, let's go. Where are we going now? Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Get up! Right, Charles? I will follow you. Oh, there Easy. Is the place. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well... Loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, really kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. 
but he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent, keeping fish on the line. Hope we find some more. Must be it. Yep. I think so. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't. Look, go get them out. I can handle this. Out of the fields. I think there's one over here. Stop hiding, coward. Hmm. I think I saw something. And this one is dead. We got one more, Charles. Look at the birds. Go that way. Jumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. I think I know where he is. For Trelawney. Let's go back. Let's you see. all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Come on. Let's Charles. go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. <laughs> I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Let's hope uh, he didn't. Uh, uh, guess we'll soon anything. find out. Seems like we can't you okay? now, Arthur. Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, 
I didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Okay, sounds like a good idea to me. All right, that's another mission. Beautiful. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but ain't the way I remember it. Damn right. So we are baking roads. I think, yes, we are. So there is three more missions here with Trelawney. I think this is to rub some code. Let's look like that. Is it some mica? Oh no. Mica needs to speak to you. And this doesn't look good. And with John Marston, we need to do something with Braithwaite's prize horses. Hmm. That looks promising. Alright. 